Hey everyone, welcome to All Techies. I'm Pankash Rai, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the activity result contracts. Well, these are the new set of APIs got added with the activity SDK version of 1.2.0. So, if you are using the activity KTX version or the activity version of 1.2 or .0, then you can take advantage of the contracts. Also, there are certain scenarios when you use contract it may lead to runtime app crash so to avoid that do not forget to add the fragment ktx or the fragment version of 1.3.0 now let's switch back to our main activity where we'll discuss about the contracts so the first thing is what it is and why do we need them well activity result contracts are the replacement for the on activity result callback so earlier we used to have the overridden method of on activity result which acts as the entry point for various scenarios. Like for example, you want to get the PDF, images, videos from the gallery, then that used to be the entry point. You get the content, come back to on activity result, and then do your operation. Even if you have moved to another activity, you want to pass the result back to the calling activity, again, it's the on activity result. So to avoid all those things, now we have the contracts. They are the dedicated piece based on your dedicated requirement. So no more lengthier on activity result anymore. Not just this, even permissions. So you can avoid writing the old overridden methods for permission. Now you can take advantage of contract even for the permissions also. So let's start with the permission itself. How do we can register the activity result contracts for permission? So let me create an object say private well request single permission or let me give a name directly camera permission so we have two kinds of contract here request single permission and multiple permission let's see both of them let me register activity for result and inside this i have to pass the contract we have activity result contracts dot we need the contract for what we have to specify here so here i have to ask for the permission so i need request permission and in the lambda we are going to get the result so here i could say like is granted so if you said Deny the permission, is granted will be false, and if user accept it, it will be true. So this is about getting the result in this callback. But how to trigger it? How do I ask for the camera permission? Well, for that, I just need to call this object and then launch method of that object. Now I have to give the permission which I'm interested in. So for example, here I'm interested in the camera permission. And that's it. So this is the place which is observing the permission change. And this is the place for calling the permission change. So here you can specify any sort of permissions which have already defined in the manifest so let's see your manifest file and here if you could see we have camera and record audio and here i'm just asking for the camera permission which is completely valid now if i want to get the permission for camera and record audio then what should i do in that scenario well in that kind of scenario instead of having request permission i should change it to request multiple permission so let me change this to request permissions and then i could say like request permissions dot launch so here because i'm requesting for the multiple permissions then what should i do here is that instead of passing a single permission object i should give like array of manifest dot permission dot camera then manifest dot permission dot record audio so based on your application need you can specify any number of permissions here so this is all about permission 
and again earlier with uh, single permission we used to get the boolean object whether the permission is granted or not so in case of multiple permissions we are going to get the map of string comma boolean where the string is the key like the permissions you have asked for camera record audio and the value will be the permission either denied or accepted so the true or false if our objective is to know whether all permissions are accepted or denied then we could take advantage of filter value and then you can say like it dot not which means that filter all those keys which is having value as false which means that the permissions are denied by user so i could say like is empty so the permission is denied by the user then this is not going to be empty if all permission are accepted by user then this will be empty okay so this was all about asking for single permission or multiple permission now how about starting the activity itself for the result the old traditional concept where i have to start one activity from this particular activity and then get the result back to this activity so for that again the same thing we'll create an object request activity for result and then we'll again register activity for result here we'll create a contract activity result contract and then start activity for result this in turn is going to give us the activity result so from this activity result we could get the data which is nothing but the intent or even the result code so to start activity for result what do we need to do is that say on a button click i want to start another activity then again i should call launch this requires intent so again the same concept this comma my second activity and that's it just by this now we have started activity for result so from this activity if i want to pass data back to the calling activity then before calling finish i just need to set the result where i have to specify the result code and the intent so to get the required content back to this place what do i need is i could do a check if activity result dot result code is equals to whatever we have specified here well the preferred way is to have this in the app constant so that there will not be any room of error and then we can have activity result dot data dot get string extra now one thing to remember here is that this data could be null so if you want to get any sort of information from data use question mark dot and then give the name that's it so as soon as activity passes data back to this activity this register for activity result with a contract of start activity for our result will get triggered and eventually we'll call this okay so how about getting image or the video from the gallery do we have any contracts for that then yes we do have it so let's create the contract for getting images from the gallery so we could say like private well request images from gallery and then we can have register activity for result again activity contracts dot get multiple contents so this is going to give us the list of uris now we could have like request images from gallery now instead of intent what it need in the launch is a string same is true even for the video also by this way you can get the multiple contents if you are interested in the single content only then you can have get content here this will allow you to get the single content from the gallery 
So apart from get content, permissions, start activity for result, we have many more contracts. We have create document, take picture, open document, pick contacts, take picture preview, take video, and not just all these things. If you want to create your own contracts, you can do that also. So that's it in this video. If you've liked this video, then do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe this channel to get the latest videos on Android, Kotlin, and Firebase. Thank you and stay tuned.